I just published a power map video showing how the new year progresses across time zones. In this video, we will see how that was done. The data is quite simple. First column is country, second column is time zone. I removed the plus and minus signs. Now, in order to plot the countries, we need the country name. And in order to animate it across the time zones, we need a date time value. What we have here in time zone is just the offset from GMT. I have converted that to a simple date time value by taking a base date of 1st Jan 2016, adding the midnight time to it, which is time 000, and then adding the offset here. So for the first place where the time difference is plus 12, there is no offset, so it is 12 a.m. And then it goes on and on till the last row, which is 11 p.m. That is for the last time zone, which is minus 11 from GMT. If you are using Office 2013, you will have to install Power Map as an add-in. I am using Office 2016, so Power Map is already installed. It's a part of the native product. It's now called 3D Map instead of Power Map. Now notice what happens. It shows me a 3D map and it has already plotted all the countries on top of the map. By default, it doesn't show you map labels, which you can enable from here. I'm going to use a different theme so that we can see the entire satellite map. Now, of course, the countries are plotted in different colors, so you may not be able to see them clearly, but that's OK. What we really want to do is see the entire map. And because it's a globe, you can see only half of it. So one way of handling that is to create a flat map. Now what we really need to show is which country is going to have sunrise as the time zone progresses. Now here countries are identified using just a dot, but I want to identify the entire region of the country and that is done by just clicking on this button. And notice that all the countries got lit up. They got lit up almost at the same time, but we want to show the time progression based on the time zone. And for that purpose, we need to animate the time portion of this. When we open the time fields, it only shows you date time type of data. We have only one column of that type. Once you do that, you get something here. What is this? This is the last date time which we saw in our data, 11 p.m. I'm not really interested in the time portion, so I'm going to edit the format and keep just the date portion. And we'll adjust it in such a way that this is clearly visible all the time on the map. I also want to put a quick Happy New Year message, which is just a text box. And now, when I run this, what is going to happen is it's going to take 10 seconds, but I want to do it in six. Otherwise, it's too lengthy and click on the play button. And now what happens is going to actually go as per time zone and keep lighting each country. And that's how we could actually show the year progressing across time zones. But I also want to show the same thing on a 3D globe. This was a flat map. I want to keep this as it is. So I'm going to create a new scene. New scene essentially copies everything from the previous scene, which is good. But in this case, we want to convert it to a globe. And I want to light it up from time zone here, which is almost plus 12 up to here, which is India around 5.3 plus from GMT. Now, how do I do that? Of course, I can click on play and it's going to do exactly the same thing. But notice here that even though I'm not seeing the rest of the globe, it is going to plot it and it's going to take its own time to do it. I don't want that. I want to show only this part of the globe and I want to force power map only to plot those countries. And that is done by using filters. So we'll add a filter. Now diff contains our time zone. When I click there, it actually shows me my range from minus 11 GMT to plus 12 GMT. Now I know I need to start from plus 12 and end somewhere 5.3, which is India. And notice it is doing the job correctly. And now let's play it and it's going to do exactly what we want. It started from there and it's going to go all the way up to India and it's going to plot it. 
Now for this much, 6 seconds is a bit too much, so I'm going to reduce this to 4 seconds. And let's try it again. That's good. Now I'm just going to rotate in such a way that New Zealand is also seen. And that should be the best way to show it right now. So one scene is done. Then we'll rotate the globe in increments and show the rest of the world. Now we'll add one more scene. Rotate the globe in such a way that India is on this side now. And of course change our filter where the ending point will be 530. So I'm just going to move this around and let's get the end point to somewhere around 530. I don't want to show India, so it should be a little on the other side of 530. So this is my second scene. We will add one more scene now. And in this scene, we will use mouse to rotate it again and then show the rest of it. Go back to the filter, move the filter all the way from one point, whatever that was. And we should be good to go. And then when you play, this part is going to be shown in 4 seconds. So now if you play the entire tour, it's going to look like this. Notice that there is a smooth transition while we are moving from one scene to another, which is a nice thing. You can of course control the speed of animation and the amount of time it takes for transition. And that's how it is done. Thank you and a happy new year to you.